Okay, so let me get started with uh, chapter two, some of the exercise in the back, to just to reinforce and come to the concepts that we talked about. Um, I know what the homework problems are, but <coughs> let me uh, excuse me. Let me go through and uh, this is this is the there's two sections to the SMLE. One of them is the exercises, and the other one is the program exercises with it as well. So the homework problem, <coughs> some of these are the exercise with it. So um, let me start with number two, and I'll cover some of the stuff as we go along with it. Um, I say number two. This is chapter two, exercises with it. Which of the following are valid C++ identifiers? First of all, when we talk about identifiers, there's three things you need to know about identifiers. Variables, constants, and functions. Okay, That's what makes up an identifier. So why is that important? Well, because of naming file with it. So when you look at this file right here, <coughs> excuse me, so you're looking for one that's valid. <coughs> look at the first one. Is A valid first? C++? Okay, so first C++ prog. So the plus plus is invalid. You can't use special character. B, travel, underscore time. This is valid. <clears throat> Can you start out with C, like three feet in a yard, start with a number? No, that's invalid. D, can you do D? I'm starting with an underscore. Yes, this is valid. CPP, underscore assignment. Is this valid? Yes, it is. Even though it's uppercase, underscore, this is what perfectly alpha text. This is just text. How about inches? in one centimeter. This is valid. It's long, but it's valid. Monthly space pay. What's wrong? It's, it's space right here. Okay, Invalid. Jacks apostrophe s. Can't use special character. Invalid. First pound or first hashtag or whatever you want to call this. <clears throat> you can't use special character. Invalid. Bonus amount. Dollar sign. Dollar sign invalid. <clears throat> so the only one that is valid in here is what B, D, E, and F. B, D, and F. So I just gave away the first answer. This. So let me go through this list right here. Okay, which of the following is not is not a reserved word? Well, remember now, reserved words are words that you cannot call an identifier. So if you look at int, okay, that's a kind of like a data type. Pound, the include, that's a reserved word. Okay, double is a data type. Int and A and C are data types with it. Cons is a data type with it as well. You can swear as a constant with it. A B C D E C N is a reserved word. So right now you only have include, C N, and bool. So if you really look at it, int, double, bool, and cons. These are not reserved words. Include, CN are the only two that's reserved words. Okay. So why is this important? We, we know it's reserved words because there's a list in appendix A or B in the back. <laughs> if you book the list, out, all the reserved words with it. So you don't want to call your identifiers, which are what? Variables, constants, and functions with these reserved words. So um, let me come down here. Yeah, uh, Which of the following, let's, come, let's do some of this math right here because you're going to see some of this math coming across here with it as well. Let's look at number number six here. All right, Do this math for me. Remember the uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally? It applies here as well. All right, Let me check the time on this really quick. <clears throat> Okay, then pick up um, in, the, in, in chapter two exercise with it. You're going to see a lot of these um, mathematical expression in on the exam as well with it. So you remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Please, that's what parentheses excuse is exponential. My dear Aunt Sally is multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. That's the order of precedence that when you learn in grade school. 
it still applies here with it. But what's different in here is that I'm going to take a look at, let's look at this one right here for me. 25 plus 4 minus 7. You do it from left to right, right? So if you take 25 plus 4 is what? It's 29. 29 minus 7 is what? It's 22. So you do it from left to right, right? So that's right. Now let's take a look at this. Look at B. 8 divided by 3. Well, now this is computer science. So if you look at it, 8 divided by 3, I'm just going to pull up the calculator here. If I take 8 and I divide it into 3, it's 2.66666, whatever it is. Right? That, this is what our math and our think with it. Now, this is what computer science, you know, think and frame of computer science. There is a test question on this. 8 divided by 3 is 6. It is not this this decimal here. It's 2. Okay, It is just 2 because why? 8 is an integer. 3 is an integer. An int divided into an int. You get an int. So please do not include the whole thing after the decimal with it. Okay, Very important. So the answer to this is what? 2 for B. All right. Take this one. All right. So if you take, <clears throat> only take a second, take C, 13 divided into 3, multiplied into uh, 6, subtract 10. What answer do you get? I'm going to pause for a second. I want you to take a moment to do this, and then we're going to compare answer. Okay? So so let's, let's do part C, 6C together with it, okay? This is part of your assignment that I think I, I gave, no I did it's in here, but I should assign number six with you as well. So I, I've, <clears throat> again, on the test you're not going to have a calculator or Google or Wolf and Wolf Frame or anything like that. Let me just open up a notepad. I'll, I'll type exactly what we just looked at in here in a second here with it, okay? Uh, <clears throat> so, um, only I'm going to type that same problem C. This is six letter C, and I'm going to do C. This is 6C, and this is 13 divided into 3. Multiply that with 6 minus 10. And what does that equal? Is the, is, is the question, All right? Let me just move this down to a separate line so we can see this a little better with it. Remind me again what's that? Uh, Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, and this is how I would approach it. I mean, that's you know, this is how I learn it. So, um, please sense what parentheses are. There any parentheses here? No. Excuse exponent here? No. My dear Aunt Sally, my sense for what multiplication, right? So, you, what do you do? All right. So you take your division first of all. All right, so I'm going to put this thing in like a square bracket like this so you can see with it, right? And then you're going to do this one first, and then we do this one. And then you're going to subtract that. So that's another way how you want to look. So what is this 13 divided by 3 is what? 4, right? So let me put this over here. This is 4. And then four, you multiply that with six. This is what's left, right, from that square bracket. And then you subtract that from ten. So four times six is twenty-four. Subtract ten equals what? Should give you equal fourteen. Okay. So that's how I want you to start thinking about this. Uh, let me skip around here. Let me let me do some of these uh, with you. Um, let's do another one. Um, we said, of course, the answer, uh, there is a test question on B, by the way. So if you look at B, <clears throat> one of the things I said to you was in B, if I took an integer, 8 divided into 3, what is that equal to? Well, technically, it becomes a 2.666, right? But in computer science, it's just a 2, okay? Because this is an int divided into an int, integer into an integer. What if... In the other case, if I did this, what if I took this and I did 8.0 and 
divided into 3. What is this equal to? Now, I have cast it to be a float or a double because of the decimal. This will allow me to actually give it me, give me a decimal. Okay, so it's always going to be the bigger one with it. All right, you can always cast up, but you cannot cast down. Remember that, all right? All right, so that's one of the examples with it. Um, what else? Oh, same thing as if you look at, let's do, uh, <clears throat> if you look at, um, if you look at, um, here, mod. Yeah, I want to talk to you about mod, by the way, before we do mod. So what is 5 mod 2 equal? I want to call this the first number. Mod is what remainder and this. So my 5 my 2 is 1. You agree? 2 times 2 is 4. Remainder is 1. You agree? What is 5 mod I'm not attached to five, by the way. Three, the remainder is what? Two. Cool? Yeah, you cool with that? So what if two mod five equal? Well, two. Okay. What is three mod five equal? It's three. Okay. I'm, I'm not attached to 5, by the way. Let's do something else like 25 um, mod 5 equals what? Zero. There is no remainder because 5 times 5 is 25, and that's it. All right? So I'm just, I'm just picking up numbers off my hand. What's 5 mod 25? Okay. So if you haven't picked up the pattern, do you see what the pattern is? If the first number is larger than the second number, <clears throat> then you do what's in the remainder. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract 5 from 4 is 1. If the first number is larger than the second number, how many times does that number go into the first number? And you get the difference between the two. If this first number is smaller than the second number, just take that number that you have on the left hand side and put in over here to the right of that equal sign. If the first number is smaller than the second number, you're just going to move that number over here. If the first number is larger than the second number in this case, 5 times 5 is 25, there is no remainder. If the first number is smaller than the second number, you move the 5 over. Okay, you get the gist of this now? Okay, so this is just plain A intent to review. So uh, part D in here allows you to do a mod. So they want you to do 3 plus 5 mod 6. What is that equal to? Okay, <clears throat> what is that equal to? Again, here's just if it helps. Put this in parentheses for me. If it helps, put this in parentheses for me. So what's 5 mod 6? It's actually 5. You agree? So you're going to take 3 plus 5, and that's going to equal what? 8. Okay? So that's just a little review of math, of some of the stuff. You tried this on your own, okay? And, and, and I know the answer is not there with it, but, uh, but, but practice this stuff on your own with it. I'm going to pause. Uh, <clears throat> here's what I'd like for you to do. Uh, there's, let's do one of these things, okay? So, um, pick one, I don't know. Let's do, uh, let's do H. Yeah, H looks, no, H looks kind of easy. Um, I don't know, I mean, I, you guys play with this, all right? So, there's no need for me to sit here and do math with you guys, but you should, this is a review. So, let me, let me, I want to check how much time I have on here before I get too far with this, all right?